Hi friends, I'm Sincerely Unique and I'm back with a recorded Final Fantasy XIV video for the first time in a while. Um, today I thought why not do a little cute little video on the Moonfire Fair. This is one of my favorite events of the year. It was the first event I ever did as a little sprout back in my Realm Reborn days. And I it just, it just, August is always such a happy time of year for me. Um... I don't know if the story here is good. I, I, it's not. It's not that good. We're just gonna have fun with this. Um, I'm not doing. <laughs> we'll see if I do the jumping puzzle. I'm probably not gonna do it. <laughs> Mayaru Moyaru looks eager to regale you about all there is to know about the latest Moonfire Fair. This quest is available for a limited time only. Ah, hello, hello. Just the adventure I was looking for. Feeling the heat. Well, nothing like a good swim in Costa del Sol to cool down. While you're there, you might as well enjoy the Moonfire festivities. The fair has served to promote the Adventurers Guild in recent years, and I expect plenty of folks will join in on the fun this summer. No one will want to miss the exciting show we're putting on. That's right. Due to popular demand and the wishes of Master Gegeruju himself, we have brought back the challenge. Intrigued, aren't you? State your curiosity by speaking with Heyer Maga in Costa del Sol. How? Da, 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 da. I'm sorry, y'all. The audio is really low. I just realized I'll give it a couple of ticks to boost it up there. It should sound... It should actually be audible in the video now. <laughs> Whoopsie. I always am adjusting 14's audio settings. I love this area so much. It's just... This is such happy fun times. This is always... It's just good vibes all around. The fireworks are so beautiful. Like, it's just all so great. Uh, let's see. The shop sells bait. Why do you sell bait? They also sell old bonfire, which is cute. I'll buy it. It's you. Oh, it's untradeable on market for it. I'll buy two. Hello. <laughs> Ah, Salix, here at last. You're here to give the challenge a whirl, aren't you? That hulking monstrosity erected upon the shore. Uh, that is a monstrosity. I hate this. <laughs> I hate this already. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be the, doing the jumping version of this puzzle. I might just do the other side. There. The imposing fortress that turns grown men into weeping babes. The crucible which forges the fiercest of warriors or spits out their mangled remains. Aye, the Eurasian nimble warrior course. Um, I am anything but nimble. I'm a black mage, sir. We have had some issues here and there which prevented us from constructing the course anew for a time, but we made it work this year to satisfy the fierce demand from our patrons. Ah, <laughs> they're talking about the fandom. It wasn't merely returned. However, oh no, it's been updated and refined with a new circuit. I dare say it is a course. Reborn! While the new circuit isn't physically demanding, it's no less a spectacle. We've recruited the finest gold saucer technicians and a certain bomb expert to craft so many bombs into the new attraction. It feels like a damn volcano's erupting when they go off. Aye, tis a trial that tests the resolve of fledgling and experienced adventurers alike, as all are forced to not only calculate the timing of the impending explosions, but avoid the shockwaves that follow them too. If you think you're up to the task, then by all means, show everyone how it's done. Are we going to talk about the other side of the puzzle? You look eager to try your hand at it despite all the risks, and yet I don't get the sense that you're underestimating the challenge before you either. Ugh. It would do the young lad good to see the temperament of a veteran like yourself, but that he could learn from your example. Huh? <laughs> ah, it's nothing. Just this talk about the course and all and its newfound glory brought to mind a certain worrisome adventurer. Hmm. Look, you wouldn't mind lending me a hand with something, would you? When you're not busy running the course naturally, give me a shout after this if you're interested. Oh, okay. Speak with Hermaga again. Hello. What's up? You'll lend a hand, then. You have my gratitude. The matter in question is regards to a certain new... Uh, I suppose he isn't new anymore. Well, anyway, I want you to act as a model of sorts for a certain young adventurer. He's no stranger to you, of course. Recall the fellow by the name of Rufool Tia? He came to the Moonfire Fair with his little sister, Ramaja, before, remember? The lad went and became an adventurer and seems to have some experience under his belt now, but... Well, to be frank, he's putting on airs. 
You better see him yourself to get the real picture. I saw him heading to the north of the island with his sister earlier. You should be able to find him there. While he has his issues, there's no doubt in my mind that he has a promising future in as an adventurer. I'll leave it up to you to decide how you want to go about it, but guide him back to the right path, would you? Someone's selling shaved ice, Moogle plushies, and Moonfire snacks. Oh, this is so cute. I, somebody on Party Finder better be selling clears of this tower. <laughs> Not for actual money, of course, Bergil. <laughs> Hello, cat boy. It has been literally so long. I can't even remember if I talked to you last year or the year before. The, judging by his outfit, I think I might have never even actually met him. Because I started in 2020. <laughs> Sorry, I just smacked. Long time no see, Salix. I had a feeling we'd meet you again. Don't be shy now, Maja. Hello, Salix. I'm so happy you're here. Today just keeps getting better and better. Since you're here, there's something I want to tell you. Though I've only seen an adventurer for a few summers, I've already made a name for myself. Hell, I even made a pair of apprentices. I suppose you'd expect as much as somebody of my obvious talent, huh? Uh, I don't know about that one. He's doing the catboy ear. I'm not impressed by the catboy ear wiggle. And you're talking to the wrong... Or team perk player. <laughs> yes, I'm not impressed. <laughs> anyway, where was I? Oh, right, my apprentices. Go on. Introduce yourselves. An Elezin and a Highlander. Hello. The Elezin is very pretty. <laughs> Hello there, friend. The pair of us are just your average friendly old novice adventurers who wound up taking up an apprenticeship under our mentor here after he saved us from a sticky situation. He's a big friend of yours, by the way. Big fan of yours. <laughs> The mentor we respect respects you, so if you really think about it, we ought to respect you too. And anyone who commands that much respect is clearly incredible. It is an honor, sir, truly. I've heard all kinds of amazing rumors about you, Salix. It's a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance. It's a pleasure's mine, then. So I take it you've also heard about the challenge and decided to join in on the festivities? I won't lie, I'm itching to take the course to go myself. I hear they've even added a bombastic circuit to it. Though, for a prodigy like me who completed it as a novice... I'm sorry, I'm also taking the chance here just to take it. The real challenge would be not to fall asleep from boredom, huh? A rising star like me has nowhere to go but up, after all. Uh, you could try, you know, not being cocky as well. Yeah, call him out. Nonsense. I'm being confident, not cocky. It just comes naturally to me. I guess this is what happens when you become a respectable adventurer, eh? Watch me out there, Salix. When I tear through that course, you'll understand what I'm capable of. Are you sure you're okay, fool? You've been acting odd lately. Uh, is he okay? Am I okay? Ah, I'm better than ever. Don't worry one bit, Maja. Your big brother's a fully-fledged adventurer now. I'll give the crowd a show and be back before you know it. From the moment I became an adventurer, I've always looked up to you. There's no one I want witnessing my finest achievement more than you, so if you can spare a moment to watch, please wait for me on the beach. Okay. Whoa. It'll be okay, Maja. It's your brother, after all. He'll pull through, surely. Yes, I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, my dear. You'll come too, won't you? I'll feel better if you're there. Both of Rulti as a princess introduce themselves, though he seems quite confident he will succeed in his attempt. You notice that the two of them and Ramaja are worried about him. Oh my gosh, it's... Is, is that Chloe? And I don't know who the other one is. <laughs> I, I know Zl Chloe and Zloe, and I don't know who this third girl is. <laughs> That's so cool. I wonder who else is around here. I I would like to know. The eager apprentice. It wasn't so long ago, the day that were fool rescued us, I mean. We don't know left from right, but we still thought we had the chops to take on a rampaging beast. We'd have died had a fool who happened to be passing by not put his life on the line for us. Thinking back on it, the way he fought was downright clumsy, even to my eyes. But I will never forget 
how he desperately fought to save us. He showed us what it truly means to be an adventurer. That's why I, we decided to follow him. I know he'll do his best up there today because that's the kind of man he is. Recently, Raful's been... So sorry, I forgot I said anything. Oh my. What about her? Fool. I hope he'll be okay. I guess we'll wait for him here. Do you see my brother? I can't see anything from here. Ah, I sent a damsel in distress. Fear not, young maiden, for we are here to the rescue. Oh, these two. Hello. <laughs> Um, let the games begin. I, Ludifoen, uh, will humbly serve as herald of the proceedings. And I, Hermaga, have been unjustly nominated to a system. Together, not even the slightest happening shall escape our ardent observation. Oh, there's that cat boy. Now then, let us look upon our contestant. The up-and-coming adventurer, Raful Tia, with such a daunting trial before him, who knows what could be running through his mind right now? What do those stern blue eyes of yours see, Ermaga? The lad looks eager to get up and at it, and in terms of physique, he looks to be in fine shape. That said, I can't help but notice some nervous energy in him as well. Thank you, Ermaga. Let us wish him the best of luck out. Ah, the contestant was just took off at a run, and is presently making his way to the first jet of water. Huh? And he soars through the sky expertly. Wow, just look at that landing. Oh, I hear a bunch of mechanisms going on in the background. A splendid feat indeed. He managed to do it all without losing his footing. This is proof of his experience as an adventurer. He is well accustomed to moving under pressure. Or above it, as it were. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I see. There's a guy there. And now, he is faced with a decision that will change the course of his fate. Does he take the tried and true path, or try his luck at the new circuit? Which route do you think our sprightly contender will take, Ermaga? The new circuit requires a contestant to be calm and collected in the face of a looming barrage of bombs. Unfortunately, I sense much fear in this one. If I were in issues, I would pick the old circuit without a second thought. No, I would, I would take my chances with the bombs. <laughs> if I don't have to jump, I'll take it. Da, 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 da. Oh, he's going for the bombs, too. Ah, he's on the move. It seems he made his decision. The new circuit. The timing of his movements would leave much to be desired, however. Even the slightest moment's hesitation could lead to a messy result, and I fear he teetered for too long. Cover your eyes, folks. This could get ugly. I see all the people dancing in the background. He managed to dodge the first explosion, and the second, and the third, and the... <gasps> Gods be good, the shockwave of the fourth explosion has sent him flying like a shooting star! <gasps> oh no! Oh my. Wait, did you hear that? It was like, shoo! <laughs> oh, that is a dead cat boy. Goodbye. Ladies and gentlemen, even at the sea water salts his wounds, I regret to inform you that our contestant has been disqualified. No! This is bad. This is really, really bad. Well, there goes our audience. This seems as fine as a place as any to end a commentary. Please go. The fool needs your help. Right. I hope you haven't forgotten my request. I'm counting on you. But of course. <laughs> Screenshot my 11. Da -da 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 -da. Oh. No, oh, there's multiple quests. There has to be multiple quests here, unless if we get the outfit. I'm very sure there's multiple. Not like this. We're full. Not like this. I had my suspicions, but I hope they wouldn't prove to be true. Oh no. We're full. Are you hurt? We have to help him. I owe you one, Salix. Ah, uh, lest you all misunderstand, this wasn't a serious attempt. If I really wanted to complete the course, I could have done it with my hands behind my back. 
But it'd hardly be entertaining if I finished it in just an instant. There's no drama. Now, when I go back to complete it with ease, the crowd will go wild. Genius, huh? Wait a minute, we're full. Is that what you really care about? So, if so, you're not the person I thought you were. The person I respected. Uh oh, um, I mean, I'm just not your average adventurer, you know? I need to amaze everyone. Oh, even the owls and ladies disappointed. No, Rafool, you're wrong. I guess you never understood what we admired about you. I'm sorry, but this is farewell. Oh my, they're, they're, they just dropped him like that. Really? That's so mean. All of that? That is so mean, though. I feel bad. But what? What did I do wrong? The sister's just like... Oh my gosh, there's a second quest. There's... there's I can't... Well, actually, no, of course there's a second quest. Show me the second quest. Yep. Oh, and here's the outfit. Ooh... I like the shirt. Uh, I don't like the pants. Uh, I, I have a solution for that, though. For full Tia is mired in the depths of despair. This quest is available for a limited time only. Why? What What did I do so wrong? If someone's consoled. There's people who try to console this cat boy. If he's too upset to listen. You could try to comfort him. You're his hero. If that doesn't work, I don't know what will. Slash comfort the cat boy. <laughs> Everyone's trying to console and comfort. <laughs> Aww. Poor cat boy. Thank you for showing me such kindness, Salix. I'm going to... Tr I'm still trying to wrap my head around why those two left. Is it because I failed the course? Because I looked pathetic? No, silly. That's not it at all. Really? It's not because I looked pathetic? Um, say, Salix, do you have any idea why? It's because you tried to hide from your mistakes. Hide from a mistake? I don't quite understand. I like how the cat girl's even scolding him, his sister. <laughs> I don't quite understand, but it sounds wise. You didn't... Look like you were taking it seriously, fool. I wasn't taking it seriously. So what? Even if I had, I would have failed all the same. I thought if I did it on purpose, then maybe... Uh, who would admire someone who gives up before they even started? The brother I look up to always does his best, no matter how he looks or what others think of him. If you can't understand that, then maybe I'll try the course myself and show you what I mean. Oh, girl, do you really want to go? My, that is some remarkable gumption you have there, little miss. Alas, I'm afraid children may not, under absolutely any circumstance, participate in the competition. Oh, here's that Alezin again. Hi. I hope you don't mind, but I overheard your conversation. My opinion? You're a pathetic excuse for an adventurer. Fool. Just awful. You're right. You taught me so much, and yet I put on such a miserable performance. Everyone must think I'm so very pitiful. Just listen to yourself, lad. You know, want to know what your problem is? You just lost sight of what's truly important. Think back. Try to recall what Ermaga and I taught you. What it was that you admired about Salix in the first place. Mad about me? Little old me? Salix was a little sunburned. I think I finally understand. I was so focused on trying to impress my apprentices that I fully didn't fully commit myself to overcoming the challenge and stopped being an adventurer in so doing. I become a coward instead. I betrayed their trust, and now they've seen me for what I truly am. There's no way I can make it up to them. What if you tried the course again but took it seriously this time? I bet those two would watch. Again? But I've never actually succeeded. If I were to fail once more, I'd lose the respect forever. It doesn't matter. Show us what you're made of, as adventurer. Come on, now. 
Adventurer? You're right. I am an adventurer. I need only focus on the challenge ahead. Yeah. I'm sorry to ask more of you when you've already done so much, but can I ask you to serve as my inspiration once more? If possible, I would like you to go through the course ahead of me. Seeing your test of metal would rekindle my aspirations of becoming a great adventurer. Please, help me to reclaim that dream. Let me follow in your footsteps. But of course, leave it to me. You doing this, it means the world to me, Salix. I will follow after you with everything I have. Yeah. Is anyone here? Oh, the cat boy's here. Hello? I know I can do my best if I'm following after you. When you begin your run to the course, I'll be right there, right behind you. Will you accompany me? What do you have to say? You can do it, Salix. If anyone knows if there's any other NPCs I can see around here, uh, let me know in the comment section below. I would love to, to find out the little Easter eggs. <laughs> Getting blasted by the sun. I see Chloe and Zaloe and the other cat girl. I don't know who she is. Uh, I guess we're gonna go. It is time to suffer. I appreciate you looking out for a fool like this. If you're ready to go, the jet of water yonder is roaring in anticipation of your arrival. Should completing the Eurasian Nimble Court Warrior course prove difficult, seek out a fair adventure for assistance. D they can literally. <laughs> yes, you can cheese this by, 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 by talking to him. We're gonna try to do the bomb, the bomb puzzle. <laughs> Some, the people are complaining in shout chat this entire time. I'm sorry, y'all. I would rather do the bombs. I'm, I'm dead serious. Oh my god. I almost perished. Go, 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 go! Go, 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 <laughs> Yay, I did the puzzle without actually doing the puzzle. <gasps> Is that Lilja? I can't tell. I th Is no Lilja has blue hair, right? From Bastia? I didn't I didn't get to read what she said, but I guess she made the bombs. <laughs> Hello, I did the puzzle. Oh, and the kobolds too, because they like bombs. And there's P Sylphs here? Well, the foe ones kept me abreast of the situation, and after seeing the way you've carried yourself through the course so far, the fool's got to be fired up. But you're already at the halfway point, so it's not like you need to hear from me. Good luck! Oh my gosh, what else am I supposed to do now in this cursed puzzle? Oh, I have to actually jump this time! Oh no, I think- oh no, there's a bu no, we'll do the jumping version. If I- if I get frustrated, we'll move on to a different one. Speaking of frustrated, <laughs> someone died. Oh, wait, no. Did someone die? Oh, they're blowing themselves like blue mages. I'm on controller. This isn't as fun. I feel like keyboard players have much better luck. Hello, Graha. I see a bunch. I've been seeing a bunch of Grahas here. You know what? No, frick this. I'm doing the bomb version. <laughs> I'm. I have no patience. Do not run into a bomb. I'm literally only going to die because I run into a bomb. Go, 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 go. Just go. Just go. Just go. <laughs> literally, that's my philosophy. If I just see the bombs aren't red, just run. Speaking of that, um, how horrifying. Oh my gosh. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, now go, 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 go. I made it. Aha. <laughs> no jumping necessary. We love taking the stress-free route. I'm also looking at this 11. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I am keep looking at everyone's beach glams. Hello. Congratulations on making it to the end. Ah, I should mention that I've heard about the situation we were full. He pursued you the entire time, never giving up despite the fear in his eyes, even now. Hey, look behind you. <laughs> People are struggling with this puzzle and shout in stage chat. Obviously, I can't show it because of TOS. I, I might get TOS, but... Yeah. Oh, he is struggling. Come on, adventurer. I know you can do this. Yeah, Catboy. Now is your time to become a noon. 
He is a sun cat, right? I'm pretty sure he is. Oh, well, I wish they would show us doing him doing doing it actually. I guess he did it, but off screen. <laughs> That's my only like complaint about this so far, is just they should show him doing the stuff on screen more. Congrats, cat boy. I did it, Salix. I really did it. Thank you for leading the way. Oh, he is dead. Uh, now that I made it to the end, I suddenly feel lightheaded. Forgive me. I will return after I've had a moment to catch my breath. Would you mind relaying the good news to Maja? <laughs> but of course. I was absolutely moved by, well, the way you moved through the course. But I must admit, it was truly more touching to see Rafool again. Ga gain the confidence as he pushed on. Truly, this is the way adventurers are meant to be. And we have to go back? Um, we're doing this the old-fashioned way. Literally, I will probably do this puzzle, but with Blue Mage. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Even people in Shout Chat are hating their life right now. Hello, Cap. Oh, Ramaja. Hi. Good news. Oh, you're back. How'd it go? Both the Fowen and Edmaga were come trading, but I want to hear about it from you. Oh, you see, uh, he actually did it. <laughs> he did it. He really did it. I always believed Fool could, but he never believed in himself. I'm so happy. I'm happy for him too, I guess. <laughs> Fool, Salix told me everything. I'm so proud of you. Oh, I didn't do much. I just followed after him, really. Still, it felt good to try. And initially succeed at something. Oh, and they heard about it too. Please excuse us for interrupting, Rafool. Do you have a moment? But of course I do. <laughs> we, we judged you too quickly and too harshly. It was only when we saw you making your way through the course that it dawned on us how wrong we'd been. That's why. You don't have to finish that sentence. I'm the one in the wrong here. After all, I am so very sorry to both of you. I left my desire for recognition cloud my judgment and lost sight of myself in the process. It is little wonder you both reacted the way you did. That's why I'm starting over. This time, I will not waver from the path. Nay, I should follow wherever it leads, as a true adventurer should. With that said, do you think you could forgive me? I'll be honest. You were a dismal sight up there at first, looking as if you might collapse at any moment. But you didn't. You pushed through like a true champion, and now we are keen to see how far you'll go, just like when we first met you. Aye, that's why we want you to forgive us for losing faith. Instead of believing in you like we should have. Given the circumstances, I understand if you say no. But would you consent to being our mentor once again? Ah, Friendship. Like, you even have to ask. I couldn't be happier to have you both at my side. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for bringing Fool back to his senses, Salix. If you hadn't, these three never would have made up. And I still would be really sad, so thank you so, so much. I think we'll be okay now. So maybe you can do that report thing that Fool always talks about. I don't really get it, but it seems important. And don't worry about Fool. I'll be watching him carefully. <laughs> you better. Da, 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 hooray! This story was very short and sweet and simple, but you know... Isn't that what Final Fantasy XIV is about uh, when it comes to, like, forgiveness? Did my brother thank you properly? Well, let me thank you again just to be safe. Oh, and don't, please don't forget about the report thing. This whole ordeal started because of my own foolishness, yet you still held your hand out to me. I said it before and I'll say it again. You, my friend, are my inspiration. Our mentor's mentor. Does that make you our grand mentor? It's like we're all one big happy family. If you say so. My entire life, everyone around me has called me cold, but watching you and Rafool tackle the course has lit a fire inside me, and I know what I aspire to be. Ah, Yeah, Dusk White doesn't have that reputation. I should know, because I too am a Dusk White. 
My, what a satisfying conclusion to this tale. You must simply regale it to Ermaga in all its glory. <laughs> I really wonder who else is here. Hi. I could roughly see what happened from here, but I appreciate if you filled in the blanks. But of course, so this cat boy decided to be brave. <laughs> so the lad decided to came, come to his senses in the end, huh? And he made up with those green horns while he was at it too. You did well, Salix. I was right to count on you. With that, he's truly made his first step as a proper adventurer. And better yet, I don't have to feel anxious about leaving the three of them to their own devices anymore. Speaking of adventures, I owe you a reward, don't I? Please take this and this Omega Mount. <laughs> you more than earned it. And do try to enjoy the Moonfire Fair while it's still around. Yeah, give me this. I love the sandals. I really like the sandals too. The bandana? I guess uh, the bandana doesn't really work on my Ella's and you, can, you can't really tell he's wearing it because of the hair. I will take everything else though. Hooray! Ever dependable? Fool me one. But yeah, look at that. You basically, I did not show off the second half of the course, which is climbing up that cursed tower from the platform that we ended the story on. But yeah, I am not doing that. <laughs> um, normally anyway. But yeah, that is the Moonfire Fair. It's so, it's such a... I didn't really learn to appreciate paying attention to event stories when I was a Sprout, so I didn't really pay attention to it back in 2020. 2021, I paid a little bit more attention, but not really, because everyone was mad that the rewards were kind of scuffed. This fair honestly feels, like, really great. I think, like, for the first time in a while, I think in general the community will be very happy with the way this event turned out and the rewards. Um, if you've played it to this point in the video, thank you so much for watching. I will be doing videos on 6.2 when that comes out, so please look forward to it. I will try to cover as much story content as I can, along with Genshin. And if you know if there's any more NPCs I can run into around this island, just let me know in the comment section below. <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna go now and... Uh, actually, no, let's try on the glam. I should try on the glam so that... Um, I mean, I I did the quest. I, I gotta wear it. Yeah, this is basically how I'm getting away with uh, the guy version not having the bikini bottom. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Doesn't my Elezin look so nice? <laughs> but yeah, with the tower in the background, I will end the video here. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope I can catch you in whatever I do next. Bye-bye now.